after everything has calmed down, how would you sum up that victory by Banyana Banyana against Nigeria? I think um, if I look back at the game, um, we were in control for most of the time. Um, I thought uh, we, we, we played at the tempo we wanted to and also made them play at the tempo that we wanted them to play. Um, we controlled all aspects of the game. I, I felt we gave a lot of free kicks away, which at times looked very dangerous, but we handled that well. Um, and going into the second half, we discussed that they were going to come and then we needed to stay concentrated. We needed to make sure that we put our foot on the ball, but we didn't do that. Um, we then tried to calm it and uh, the two goals came really quickly. We made errors um, and we played the way we, we should not have. And I think the players showed a lot of character, a lot of confidence to then take the control back. We made a couple of positional and tactical changes. And um, and then it all just came together again, you know. We took control, then we got then we got the penalty and we managed the game really, really well. But the victory is not just for us here in Nigeria, the victory is for everyone back home, everyone involved in women's football, you know, that's contributed Cecil. Um, Hollywood Bet Super League um, that's contributed. Um, you know the coaches um, that is put in the hard work with the players. Um, they need a big pat on their back. Um, we've, we've had discussions before to say we need more, and they've delivered. But now we need more and more and more. You know um, we wanted to test ourselves, and we were we were, we were duly tested. But we need to now be consistent in what we do. Um, you know, Nigeria has been consistent over a couple of years, and uh, we mustn't forget that they will be back. Um, we must celebrate tonight um, because it's worth celebrating. But then again, um, tomorrow it's a new focus. It's the Kusafa Cup, um, and we will take some of the lessons learned here, especially with the group that we have at the Kusafa Cup, to grow that group again. Um, it's shown at losses for some of the players that had come through um, needed to be tested. And I think we've got the mix in this tournament just like with the youth and experience. I thought the experience when the going was tough, they really stood up and lifted everyone else. And then the athleticism and the dynamism, dy dynamism of the players really stood out. Um, we knew that they would come, especially when it was for 3-2. But we managed to control the pace of the game and we managed to cut off, you know, their flow. Um, and then when we got the counter, it was, it was really good. I think we varied our play a lot today. I think they were expecting a similar game to Ghana, but we knew that we needed to put our foot on the ball. We knew that we were technically good and we knew that if we could move the ball around quickly, we'd catch them out. And we did on a few occasions, but the players were absolutely magnificent, you know. And to the staff in the, in the background, they played a huge role, um, you know, players came in and we had one training session with the overseas based players, but of playing together before, um, but having not seen them for two years, um, shows that, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of quality, but there's a lot of teamwork involved. And I, I was very excited, especially for the players that had come through to Kosafa to play away from home. I mean, this makes it even more sweeter and bigger that we won away from home but like I said the victory needs to be celebrated and then we move on and prepare because Nigeria will be back. Uh, they've proved consistently over the years that they're the best team on the African continent and for us to be um, put in that bracket we need to be consistent against the bigger and the better teams so the victory is for everyone. We want to thank the South Africa Football Association, we want to thank Cecil, we want to thank Hollywood Bets. Um, you know, they've been fantastic in getting players ready um, to make sure that players play on a regular basis, but also the support to all the coaches that have supported us and, and fans and that have sent well wishes. We thank you very much and we just, we're just just excited that we could put up that performance for the fans. Um, we haven't seen any fans in our stadiums, but we, we, we know that we put a smile on the face and we know our country is going through a terrible time with COVID and we hope that this put a smile on the faces back of people back home. Thank you, Coach.